our surf. Um, they're a nonprofit organization dedicated to the same mission we are, and they've actually made this event a benefit for Heal the Bay, Surf Rider, and Orange County's Inside Outdoors. So if you guys haven't donated or had a chance to do that yet, there's a little donation stand right over here, and the money goes to those three organizations to help keep California beaches clean and healthy and protected. Um, and right before I go, I just want to let you guys know there's another person coming up to speak after me. She's a little girl that's coming all the way from Florida to talk to you guys. Her name's Allie Woodard, and she just won a presidential award. Um, and she'll be talking to you as well when she gets here. And I think, uh, you know, other than that, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having a good time. And hopefully you all care a little bit about the ocean. We know what's going on in Louisiana, but honestly, everywhere we can all make a difference about how clean and healthy our oceans are. So make that difference, get involved, get educated, and make a donation today. And again, thank you and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, Natalie. Good job. And thank you for healing the bay. I hate it when my babies feel. Okay. Allie Woodard's here from the Mural Project. Allie, do you have a few words for us? Hi guys, how's it going? <laughs> well, as ambassador for the Art Miles Mural Project and the Art Miles She's a Coach, I'm very thrilled to be here today and be part of this important project. Joanne and Fuad Topolis founded the Art Miles Mural Project in 1997 local peace and harmony through art. Since then, more than 4,000 5 feet by 12 feet campus murals have been painted by over a half million people in 125 countries. There has been more than a mile of environmental murals completed. I'm very proud to say that one of our art mile honored heroes is Jack Cousteau who was certainly the leader of protecting our oceans. I think Save Our Surf is accomplishing wonderful things and raising awareness to protect our beach and keep our waters clean. I live in the Panhandle of Florida and we are now facing a devastating crisis with a big oil spill. I literally learned to walk on our beautiful white sand beaches. My parents say that even before the age of one, I would spend my days at the beach crawling towards the water like a crab. I was always so proud to tell people that I lived on the Emerald Coast because our waters were so clean and looked like the color of emeralds in the sun. But now people say, I'm so sorry to hear that your beaches are going to be ruined and covered with tar from the oil spill. When I was in first grade, I became very active in protecting our sea turtles. May through October is turtle hatching season on the Florida coast. We always tell people to turn off their lights at night on the beach, on the beaches, and not to disturb the turtle nest. Now my fear is that the hatchlings will not survive in the pollution caused by the oil spill. Many seabirds are being found covered in oil and must undergo stressful cleaning in hopes of survival. I don't want to think about how many of our wonderful sea turtles, birds, fish, and other sea creatures will die from the oil pollution. Some of these are on the endangered list. I'm certainly not a scientist, but I also wonder about the long-term effects this may have on the ecosystem of our goal. Another project I'm so happy to be involved with is the Art Miles Shoes of Hope, which not only puts shoes on the feet of children in need, but also puts hope in their hearts. Each pair of new shoes are personally painted with a note of encouragement tucked inside. It's very hard to believe, but many children do not have something as simple as shoes to wear on their feet. Since 2004, the Art Miles Shoes of Hope project has delivered more than 37,000 pairs of hand-painted shoes to those in need in countries in Africa, Bangladesh, Haiti, Cambodia, the Philippines, and areas in the United States. In July, I will be traveling to Haiti to deliver the Shoes of Hope and take part in the International Children's Holiday for Peace. 
I will have the opportunity to participate in an art therapy program designed to help children in the post-earthquake recovery efforts. We hope it will be a um, success of healing hearts through art. I believe we all have a responsibility to give back to our world in some way. And it's great to see so many people taking part in Save Our Search. We must all remember we should never take anything for granted. Thank you and thank you for being here.